Hi, my name's John, and we're here at Authentic Performance today. I've got Patrick and Shay with me, and what you see behind is the setup of our standardized athletic test. see behind me is our red briefcase. Now you'll notice there is no actual red briefcase. It's kind of the name we have given to this package here. Um, to kind of break down what's in that package in a little bit greater detail, we have uh, two, two main components and those are our towers and our reflectors. Um, you notice that one of these towers is going to be a little bit different. That's your home base tower, or your starter tower that does have your power pack in it along with the cable that connects directly to your laptop. Um, from here, you'll see a daisy chain that goes to essentially the other towers. Those will be numbered one, two, and three. Now, reflectors are pretty much interchangeable. The only one that has a special kind of position is going to be your start one, which has both a lower and a higher reflector. In between each of the towers, it's where these cables will come in. You're going to have two 10 yard cables and one 25 yard cable. Zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 40 for your 40 yard dash. You won't need all those cables obviously for five, 10, five and three cone, but they're all there in your kit. Let's go back to the laptop, which I said connects essentially to your start tower. Um, from that laptop, you're gonna see essentially a four way hub. That hub comes in handy when you're hooking up multiple devices, such as our camera, and our barcode scanner. Barcode scanner is kind of an interesting um, piece that we'd like to use at larger combines and at testing events. What we do with this is it interacts directly with our PowerPack software so that we can give athletes a barcode, we stick that right on the back of their shirt at an event, and then when they're going around to any different station, we can scan them to know which athlete they are. And then if we're taking their height, go ahead and use this to scan heights, hand size, wingspan, broad jump. Um, it's a nice little shortcut and you'll notice this when you're testing 30 to 50 to 250 athletes that every time you save a couple seconds, it makes a big difference in the length of your event. Now, if you've watched the scouting combine on TV, or if you've seen one of our systems in previous use, um, you'll notice something that looks a little bit more like this, and that's our black box and our reflector towers. Again, iconic, um, again, at major combines. Um, what you'll see, though, in our new tower system is that essentially this black box and that tower has been replaced by the all-in-one unit. So it kind of shows you the evolution of our products. Um, again, we still manufacture these uh, for mobile combines where you might be testing 500 to 1,000 athletes and need to carry a lot of equipment. Um, these tripod systems are perfect for that. Um, for the permanent and semi-permanent installs, these um, we think are a much better system. So right now what we're doing is setting up the 20 yard dash. The thing I like about the 20 yard dash is it sets the stage essentially for the next three tests you're gonna do. And without resetting any equipment, you can run your 5, 10, 5, and three cone right from here. Reason we're doing a 20 today is it's most common at indoor facilities um, to run the 20. A lot of places don't have the room to run the 40. So what we're having is our start towers right here. And then we'll have our second tower at the 10 yard and our finish will be at the 20. When we run tests, your athletes will queue up to every starting line in the three-point stance. And when they lift their hand from the sensor, we'll start the test. Um, Patrick's gonna be, start out by plugging in, essentially our first cable. That goes from our start tower to our 10 yard. So starting here at our uh, start tower, um, we're at the 10 yard line. Taking our first 10 yard cable, 
and walking that out to our sensor number one. If you're 10 yards apart, if you're at a combine, maybe a field, don't have a measuring tape, the best part about this is that 10 yards is exactly measured by the cable for you. So when we're laying our system out, I'd recommend putting your reflectors in place. Um, don't worry about lining them up quite yet. The nice thing about the system is, is they're relatively intuitive and in that the levels are already balanced. Um, so it shouldn't take too much effort to set them up. So you see as Patrick uh, puts in the second cable that's gonna go from our 10 to the 20, you'll notice these are uh, essentially daisy chained together. You go from your start to your one, and then he's gonna walk out the second cable essentially to our 20 yard line. Now, this second is gonna be tower number two. Since we're setting up the uh, 20 today, all we have um, gonna be needing is our number one and number two. If we were setting up the 40 yard dash, you'd be using your uh, third tower essentially. That would be hooked up 20 yards down uh, at the 40 yard line. So now that we have the system wired and set up, we're gonna give it some power. Um, even though it is a wireless system, it doesn't need an electrical source other than the laptop. Um, so the one thing I will tell you is that before you start any event, uh, combine testing, make sure your laptop's properly charged. So you, from the front of the uh, power pack or your home base tower, um, you'll have a USB cord that's gonna go straight into your laptop. And you notice that power is going to your home base. So now that we have our laptop plugged in, um, go back to your power pack and you're gonna see these series of lights on here. These lights correspond to your sensors. Um, as I mentioned before, you have sensor five and four in your start tower. Those would correspond to the following lights. We have one, two, three, four, five. So if these lights, if you watch my hand pass through, five, when I block five, that comes on. So by looking at this, right now I can already see that sensor number two, which is the one at our 20 yard line, essentially needs to be aligned. And I'm gonna have Patrick help me out with that. So there's two ways to check alignment. Number one, if you have two people, I can be standing here and I can let Patrick know when that is actually aligned. So you see the light went off. If it were just Patrick here, um, without me standing next to the power pack, you'll be able to see through the looking glass behind the sensor and that light will go on or off depending upon alignment. So on the table is our laptop computer. What we're gonna do is uh, show you the check-in process. Um, as I mentioned before, we use barcodes to track athletes around. It's completely something that is uh, an option for you. We can, as long as you refer to the athlete by the same either number or name during the entire testing, you're fine. In this case, we'll show you how the barcodes work. You have your sheet of barcodes, you'll peel one back off. You can place it anywhere on the athlete. One place that we found is really good is right on the back. Um, you find that if athletes have it visually, they'll start sticking and unsticking it. So that's a good place to use and a good place when you're testing to walk right behind them and scan. So, Coach Pat. And now she's registered in the system. So before, everything that we're doing in the check-in process and the testing process, we are gonna go with the following sequence. Scan the athlete, start the event, accept the results. So we'll walk through, generally like to start out with height. Good, so we've got height, and you see that we have the corresponding height, essentially. The next thing we do is we are uh, taking the weight. Uh, with weight, it's just easiest to manually enter it. And next measurement we'll be taking is hand size. Um, you see properly, you start with thumb, you go thumb to pinky, and again, barcode scanner based. The uh, last measurement we'll take is wingspan. So you'll be uh, going to your wingspan chart.
And now uh, you would hit accept. You see Coach Pat here taking the picture. Um, he's using the camera and the laptop. Optionally, depending upon how you set up your power pack, you can use the USB camera or the camera in the uh, on the laptop. So when uh, turning on your laptop, first thing you'll see on your home screen is you see a green icon with power pack. These are touch screens, so you can go ahead and touch it. Power pack software will boot up. Now, first screen you're going to see, this will be every time you log in your PowerPack software, is events. Um, event for you is just something to record if you're doing five, ten athletes together, um, record them under the same event, some name that you want to remember. Um, you can either choose an existing event or you can select new and create an entirely new event. If you're creating a new event, you'd be typing in the name of it. and that will take you right into the software. We have Coach Pat and Shea. We're gonna start the 20. So again, first part of our sequence is always scanning the athlete in. Once the athlete's scanned, we are ready to start the event. It is on you. The reason I like to do this next is we are basically already set up for it the way we set up our 20. So scan the athlete. It's on you. Go down to three point stance where she's blocking the beam. Again, same setup, all we've done here is we've set the cones up. Start in your three-point stance. Ready when you are. jump. Uh, the jump events are typically the last two we do. You could run these in parallel though with your timing events. Again, we start with the scan of the athlete. And Shay will do the jump. Coach Pat waiting to mark it. The athlete jumps. It's going to go ahead and mark it. You're going to see where the barcode scanner comes in handy. test is part of our standard athletic test is the vertical jump. Again, interface will see very similar. Scan the athlete first. Um, one thing to point out now is that um, regardless of what type of vertical jump system you're using, um, I would suggest that it is flag based. Those are the most accurate system and they're used by pretty much every professional sports league to test their athletes. Go ahead and jump. So after the athlete jumps, we'll have the trainer measure it, and that's where the barcode scanner comes in. So regardless of whether you choose to type in the leap or if you choose to scan it, either way, um, again, when you have a lot of athletes and you want to go quick, 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 um, the scanning is definitely a time saver. And uh, there you have it. Um, we've run through our basic standardized athletic test. 
Um, we've run through the events, in this case the 20, 5, 10, 5, 3 cone, broad jump, and the vertical. This is your standard test. We've showed you how to set up the equipment. And uh, at this point, next thing you'll be seeing um, in our follow-up is how to essentially report and what you can do with the data.